This is the 28th installment in the Alex Cross series of novels. I am satisfied that Patterson has kept up the nature of his composition, so often when you get this far things appear to be predictable. This truly wasn't the situation with the Deadly Cross. It had a unique storyline and based on characters that Patterson has developed to cherish throughout the long term. The story follows the shooting of a prominent socialite who likewise turns out to be the vice president sex and the nearby school head teacher, with the side story of a young teenage girl's being kidnapped, raped and killed and lastly a small storyline of the rich and renowned being shot in the ass. Similarly, with all Patterson books, there is a lot of spotlights on the crime however equivalent time is given to Cross and his family, including his closest companion John Sampson. One of the storylines including Sampson and his family will mean more if you've read the last few books in the series however this book is independent or so-called standalone kind of novel. I love that exactly when you think you have everything sorted out, there's another curve in the tale that sends things off toward another path. Patterson books aren't one where you can anticipate the closure. Or the middle. Cross is a magnificent main character, he's a detective with a heart, a family man. Patterson has an incredible method of demonstrating you his gentler side as a spouse, father and grandson attempting to beat his fear of rock climbing and afterwards turning to his troublemaker criminologist with a dangerously sharp mind. Cross eagerness to tune into what others need to state and scrutinize his judgment, ensuring that things are done accurately, not only for convenience make him so relatable and somebody you would trust on when you were in a tough situation. As a reader you have few information yet you realize that there's consistently crucial signs that Cross and his group know that you don't. I ended up urgently needing to understand what was in the document or what somebody had let them know. How could they know more than me? Everything is told very logically, there will never be a feeling of for what reason would they do that or something evidently being missed. You're taken care of barely enough data all through to make them think about what will occur or who did it while never being given enough that you can foretell the eventual fate of the story.